All right, y'all. I'm out here with my Remington Air Master 77. I'm the gun my dad had given to me. I'm going to uh, run chronograph numbers over this. Um, this thing it's not shooting real good, uh, real well, and I'll just go ahead and go over it right now. Usually, what you have is one of these guns right here. How to test it is you're going to have uh, mainly you've got three places it's going to go bad in. It's the suction pup that you have right here. Now, I have went ahead and so watch this. Okay, it's dropping. It's not real bad to be honest with you. I oiled it, uh, but overnight, but it probably needs replaced. There's a such there, there's a little cup. It's on this right here. Now there's a felt piece. Now that's for your oil and so forth. There's a cup that goes right on there, and that's your pump. It's a suction cup. It push gains pressure going down this tube. Inside here, you have it. Uh, basically, it's really just a check valve, is what it is. But um, it's a check valve, and when you pump it up, it gets pressure, and then you hit the trigger. It has a hammer that slams up against the um, the uh, pin on that uh, little check valve, the little chamber that holds the air. And it releases the air up into the barrel and then boom pushes your projectile out the barrel and out the end just much like a firearm would except for the fact it's air so anyway this pump usually if you can take this thing the way it is the way if it'll sit there like that you know for like a day or whatever there's nothing wrong this is pretty good uh you do need to keep it oiled this keep thing that does pump up now it's hard for me to get but it's got enough little uh, pressure in it to build enough to where it can do something. Now, if you pump this thing up, say, ten times, you hear leaking anywhere out of the barrel, especially out of the barrel. What happened is your check valve, um, the valve itself is bad, and you can, you can rebuild the valve or you can probably order one. This is the uh, Remington Airmaster 77. It is also the Crossman uh, 1200, I believe, the old 766 is what it is. Uh, uh, um, and there's also interchangeable, and most of these, you can get a diagram online for these, which I did. Um, so anyway, if it's not leaking, you don't hear air or anything, your valve's good. Well, the valve itself, it sits down in here. Usually there's a copper piece that sits in here, and it's going to have a rubber gasket O-ring around it. Normally, when you're losing air, when you pump it, the air is rushing past that little O-ring that's bad. And when you shoot, it's rushing past that other ring. It's, you know, it's it's this air's dissipating. So more than likely, that's exactly what's wrong with this because the pump seems to be holding up. There's no leaking coming through the valve, and the only thing that happens is when I pull the trigger, which I'll show you, um, you get a poof. Well, what's happened is it's shooting past that gasket. The air is shooting past that gasket. So I'm gonna pump it up and show you. And then I'm gonna run this through the chronograph. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. now I'm going to probably have a BB a few times and then I'm, I brought some pellets. The uh, Crossing Premier Hollywood Points. I'll probably come in. My chronograph is on. I'll show it to you. But we're going to see how slow they're moving. Um, I don't have the and everything out here, so I'm hoping to get a reading on this thing. Because it's not going to go very far. It might hit that building at most, and then I've got to take it and clean my plunger and everything else. Yeah. 342. That's pretty lousy, but I would like to shoot lead through it. So this is what we're going to try. If I can... There we go. This will be the real stick. Okay. See what I can get. Not bad. 327. I was thinking it'd be a whole lot lower. But anyway, anyway, that's what I got right now. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take this thing apart. Uh, try to uh, go ahead and record it. Um, taking it apart. 
and um, I've got a bunch of O-rings in there, so I'm going to go ahead and put an O-ring on it, and then we'll come out. I don't know if the weather's going to permit, but either way, if I can get, when I get this thing changed out real quick, um, I'll come out and chronograph again. The weather has been raining on and off all day, so I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> Right there's my call foot. Look at that. That's why this gun's not working. It's able to pump up and get air in my tube, but when it pushes it out, it's not real good to see where it wants to. Yeehaw. And that still is not in this kit. <laughs> Alright y'all, I'm out here with my um, Remington Airmaster 77. Put it back together. I don't know how well the port is connected, but I'm going to run it over the chronograph and see what kind of numbers I get. I should be getting in the 600s. 600 a little above. So I'm going to run lead and see what I can get. But um, we're going to do that. And if not, I believe I can put another gasket over the barrel port itself. Um, the port's not real great um, on these rifles, so I think I can get some more power out of that. Maybe a little power out of the hammer spring too, but I may not mess with it. I don't really care. It's just kind of a planker and good for birds or something. As long as it's running 600 and a little bit above, I'm good. So let's see what she'll do. Wow. 686, y'all. I'd like to be able to set the camera down and run it over it, but it takes so long jack pumping this thing up, jacking it up like it's a car. <laughs> I'm just going to give the numbers. Um, Seven oh nine. She is running good, and uh, we're going to keep playing with this thing. But I'm tickled. I didn't know it was. I didn't think it was running that fast. I guess I'm used to my PCP, my Springer, and all that that run at a really, really good speed. Uh, I am, I'm tickled. 717. 717. Can't beat it. 725. She keeps climbing. This was the thing about it that I could hear um, changes in the gun, and I thought the velocity velocity was going to vary quite a bit. Um, I'm hitting over 700 feet per second, so I can't beat that. Uh, Energy-wise, up to 25 yards, as long as I can get accuracy out of them, uh, I'm gonna run a few more shots just so I can get a total of five, get an average, and then average out uh, my feet per second and all that, and we'll figure it out from there but so far I'm, I'm tickled to death I did not think this thing was running that well so I'm real happy seven twenty eight seven thirty all right seven twenty eight
All right, y'all, I'm out here. I'm going to be shooting. <sighs> 25 yards. I'm going to try to cross my premieres. 7.9 grain. If it don't rain on me, it looks pretty cloudy out. I'm at 25 yards. I'm going to see how it goes. And I'm going to leave that camera down here just to see. Okay, how's the results? Man, I am tickled to death. I really wanted to get footage, um, shooting everything, things didn't quite work out. Honestly, I set it up 25 yards, nothing. Not hitting the target. So I moved in 20 yards. This is what I got, but, just hold on. <laughs> right here. See this? One, two, one, two, three, and down the side here, four and five. Now this is 20 yards. Okay, so that's not too bad uh, for pellets, but this is the issue right here. Friend gave me this still in the plastic, still wrapped up in styrofoam. He would have never, never have given it to me if he had known it was broken, still appreciate it, and that was awesome. Um, but, this bad boy is <laughs> cranking. Right here, after shooting, for one, this is cracked. But, see that wobble? See that movement? And you can't tighten it up. This is cracked. This is a little ring that screws up on there and helps hold, hold, they screw up against each other and help hold each other tight. And it's got wobble all over it. I done that group at 20 yards. Right there. <laughs> With that wobbly scope. So, you know, I'm pretty happy. I'm going to get me a scope for it because well, one, I put the barrel on, and the only thing that holds the barrel together, there's two holes on, on the side of this. Now, my barrel was actually on the crooked, and I really didn't care, or actually not the barrel, but um, the shroud that I call it. Uh, but it has two holes in there, and they clamp in there to hold straight. But once this is clamped down, when you screw it in on this side, that's what really holds it, and it, this is just this is a helper to keep it in place if you look at it you can see mine's crooked I would I didn't focus enough on her pay attention because I'm not going to use the iron sights because I can't see where the damn so now I've got to get a scope this little scope would would have been fine for 25 yards but I'm tickled to death about the power in this thing I didn't expect it I never <laughs> I never dreamed I was going to get, it sounded like it, it was just not kicking enough. I mean, to, you know, uh, 2100s that are new out of the box, um, there's several videos on them. I know um, Ted, Ted's holdover, he chronographed his, and it's running around 620. This thing here is running uh, 7 25.6 for 9 point something I'll put the numbers up on it but measuring that out me personally like something of a rabbit a rabbit's pretty easy to kill it takes a low amount even squirrels low amount of energy I mean 4 foot pound you can kill a rabbit but this thing having that type of foot pound man out that distance you're not going to be that accurate out at that distance with one of these things but it's got the power to do it so that just tickled me to death. Dad ran BBs to it, and I just wanted to see what kind of accuracy it was going to have if there was rifling left. I mean, rifling is different nowadays than it was in the old days. 
even and this is an older rifle but you know they can withstand a little more pressure uh, than they used to so anyway um, I've got to get it scoped up um, but I'm tickled from the death Remington Airmaster 77 pre 2011 that's metal pre 2011 that bad boy right there will run love it love it love it all right y'all that's what I've got with my Remington Airmaster 77 I appreciate you watching uh, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe uh, give me a like if you like the video I know it's a long one but there was a whole lot of work that, that was done there was many hours of video that I don't have I'm not going to put up and <laughs> kill y'all with <laughs> I chopped this up to try to make it fit uh, in a shorter amount of time but you know I can't do little short videos rip a gun completely apart rebuild it test it and all that I guess I could I appreciate it I'm out of here